Now, if this was the 2015 edition of the World Cup, then this matchup, Australia taking on Bangladesh, would probably be best described as the big boys of world cricket taking on a team that is still finding its way in international cricket. But four years on, buddy, four years on, say that at your own risk, because four years on, Australia remained the same in hunt for a sixth title and being the big boys of world cricket. But Bangladesh, they've come a long way and they are really in the running to make it to the top four of the 2019 edition of the World Cup. Thank you so much for joining us on ESPN Cricket for Match Day as we're building up to this one. Australia taking on Bangladesh and to talk about that, we're joined by Mike Hussey in studio and also Sharia Nafis uh, joining us from Bangladesh. Sharia, first things, everything Bangladesh really and post that big win, emphatic win, statement win over West Indies. What's the mood like back home? It's kind of a festive mood, you know, uh, that was a massive game, uh, that was a game which Bangladesh had to win to re keep themselves in, in the World Cup and if you look at the way Bangladesh has won, it was brilliant, chasing to 322, winning 51 balls to spare, you, can have better, you couldn't have better than that. Uh, Bangladeshi people are very happy, uh, everyone is happy and Bangladeshi Fans are looking forward to the next game, which is a, will be a very big game for Bangladesh because that is the game which will decide the fate of Bangladesh. Okay, Sharia, I'm going to ask you about your playing 11, something that no one uh, really does too much, that is to tinker around with a winning 11. Are you doing that or are you sticking with the same 11? No, I would like to stay, uh, stay with the same 11 which played uh, West Indies. Uh, there was a very good balance uh, when they brought Leeton Dash, it gave a stability and the water innings Leeton Dash has played. Uh, looking at the bowling lineup, uh, Bangladesh would like to attack with the spinners, uh, Saki Balhasan and Mehdi uh, Miraj, so I would, would not uh, want to change the 11. Sharia, a word now, of course, from that takeaway from that last game versus West Indies. Yes, an emphatic win for Bangladesh with the bat especially, but with the ball. We'll show you a couple of numbers versus West Indies and their economy rates as far as all the bowlers uh, for Bangladesh. They've been pretty expensive and you took a look uh, in the entire World Cup. Uh, Bangladesh just better than Pakistan. Economy rate of 6.34. You reckon that is an area of concern going into this really big encounter versus Australia? Uh, Bangladeshi bowlers would like to change uh, the numbers, they would like to improve from the last matches. You know, that's the beauty of a team game uh, where a batsman and a can complement the bowlers, the bowlers can complement the batsmen. At this moment, Bangladeshi batsmen are doing the job for Bangladesh uh, that we have seen in the last match. Uh, from taking the confidence from the Bangladeshi batsmen, I, I really believe and I hope that Bangladeshi bowlers will improve their stats in the bowling. Definitely, the, when they're bowling, they would they are not looking at the stats but uh, they would like to improve their performance and hopefully slowly steadily uh, Bangladeshi bowlers looked a bit better in the last match hopefully in, against Australia they will uh, bring up a better performance. Now, Sharia, I've been guilty of whenever I've spoken about Bangladesh to you, I've always brought up Captain Mashraf e Mortaza because clearly his performance wasn't coming through on the field. But if they were high, very, uh, rather very expensive versus West Indies, the most economical bowler in that game was Mashraf e Mortaza. So, silver lining really, uh, positive steps for the captain. Uh, first of all, I was very happy and pleased to see Mashraf e bowl with the new ball. Uh, Mashrafi has been a, a, a new ball bowler in all his career. Where he is at his best when he bowls with the new ball. He can swing the ball. He can move the ball off the pitch, and that's what he he, da, he did. Uh, he has been doing it for all his career. I would like to see him bowl with the new ball because uh, if you look at his career stats, he hardly bowls in the uh, death overs. He's a new ball bowler, and why he did it uh, in the last match, and it was a much better performance from him. Sharia, final question, but putting it in two parts for you. A, how important will the top B and B, how do you see this one going? Uh, <clears throat> the toss has been a uh, uh, issue of uh, conversation basically. You know, like when last match when Mashrafi uh, won the toss and elected the field, a lot of uh, uh, guys were not happy back home because they thought West Indies are, are getting away. I think it's the performance is more important than, than the toss. If you don't win the toss, what can you do about it? 
uh, winning the toss or losing the toss i think it's just a toss it's uh, no one can control that the control performance is the key and looking forward to this match it will be a very important match for bangladesh because uh, if bangladesh wants to go ahead yes the last match when they won what happened they kept themselves alive in the tournament but this is the match which will give bangladesh a direction sharia thank you so much for your thoughts now because now we're going to be focusing on the five time champions all the thoughts on australia a former australia player michael hussey who's with us in the studio mike uh, before we get talking about the current aussie team now the last time a completed odi between australia and bangladesh took place the year was 2011 april 13th a certain mike hussey scored 108 man of the match australia <laughs> won by 66 runs so firstly sir <laughs> it's 8 years a little late But might as well still congratulate you for that. Uh, thank you very much. That's strange. I, I'm really surprised to hear that. Uh, what has it been? So eight years yeah, since eight Australia's years. played a completed... Completed, yes. ODI you know, against Bangladesh. 2015-2017, but they were washed out. But even so, that's just two matches. I thought there would have been a series somewhere along the line. Um, mm. So that really does surprise me. Uh, I, I think in the past, and certainly teams that I've played against with Bangladesh, because they were just an up-and-coming team, the, the Australian team plan was to really intimidate bowl fast be aggressive with the bat and and try and put them under pressure that way now that's worked in the past because you know uh, they they were just learning their way but i think this bangladesh team will find it a lot harder to be intimidated like they have in the past they've shown already that they they're willing to take on the short balls now mm. against the west indians i thought they played the short ball extremely well they've got some top quality batsmen that are in form they've been playing a long period of time together uh, i think they've got a quality team now and uh, there'll be certainly no pushovers for australia So I'll just get to your 11 in a bit but in this day and age where you have T20 cricket you have franchise cricket everyone is playing mixing with each other in franchise cricket having not played against an opposition in 8 years mm. does that play a part in the fixture I I think it does I, I know the two teams have played against each other in test cricket mm. um, but but certainly not obviously as you're saying in one day cricket so yeah when it's coming to oh you know getting that familiarity of facing a certain type of bowler or bowling to a certain type of batsman uh yeah you 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 sort of get to know their strengths and weaknesses in the middle now what the two teams I'm sure will do will be doing all the analysis off the field mm. but I can assure you it's a lot different looking at a computer screen than yep. it is actually right out there in the middle so it could be a factor Michael playing 11 so then this is with Stoinis your 11. Yeah, so I think he comes straight back in. It's a good sign for Australia. He offers so much balance to the team being a, a obviously a good bowling option but also a powerful hitter at the back end of the innings as well. So he he'll go come in for for Sean Marsh in in my team. Uh and and that side strain mustn't be mustn't have been too bad in the first mm. place because mm. generally speaking if you've got a, a side strain and you're looking to bowl it can take 3 or 4 weeks to recover from. The other change that I'd consider and it depends on the conditions on the day i'd have a good look at the pitch the overhead conditions etc is just toss up whether you you play a nathan lyon or a jason berendorf yeah. now berendorf's extremely good with the new ball and bowls well uh to left handers but also nathan lyon with his spin option uh is very good to the left handers as well and the key men in my view are the top 3 mm. for Bangladesh. Obviously Shakib is probably the batsman of the tournament at the moment. Yep. The form he's in, Tamin Iqbal is obviously a quality player and Sarkar as well. Uh they're all brilliant players and if they get in and get set, uh they're really difficult to stop and a key men for Bangladesh. So I would like the best bowlers available for Australia that bowl well to left-handers. How do you see it going? It's a tough one to call. We've got a lot of Bangladeshi fans who watch the show. <laughs> FYI. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. Well, I still think Australia are going to come out really aggressive uh, and they will try and intimidate uh, this Bangladesh team uh, like they have done in the past which has had success but I don't think the Bangladeshis will feel that intimidation as much as they have done in the past. I think the Australian bowlers will bowl a lot better than what the West Indians did in their previous match. So mm. the Bangladeshis will have to work a lot harder for their runs but you can't deny they're in great touch. I think it's going to be a close game but I think Australia go in as favorites. Michael Hasi, Sharia Nafeez guys, thank you so much for joining us as we were building up to a cracker of a contest in the Cricket World Cup, Australia taking on Bangladesh. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and leave your comments in the comment section below. Click on the bell icon for notifications.